Well, I'm Tommy. Mick Mars. I'm the drummer. Scrawny for a drummer. I used to be in Sweet 19, so. Hey, uh, you mind turning down a little bit, old timer? I can't hear myself. Jesus. Your name has popped two times in my in my world right now because I had Don Dawkin on the show. Uh-huh. He mentioned you. Oh, and nice. then the, that article that you just uh, did in Guitar World, written by Andrew Daly, um, then I was like, oh, wow. Just got to say, I don't know how these rumors got started, how it got in print so many times. I was never in Motley Crue. I had no desire for Motley Crue. I don't know why they keep saying I was the first guitar player. I was not. Welcome back to Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist in the hot seat. It is Greg Leon, the man who replaced Randy Rhodes in Quiet Riot and also played in Dokken. But he's here to set the record straight. He was not in Motley Crue and he wants you to know all about it. I found Greg Leon from two sources. I'm going to recap this again. I had Don Dokken recently on the show three hours where you could see it right here and then we'll watch the clips great guy open wears his heart on his sleeve doesn't really care what what the end result he just says what he's going to say and he said great things about mick mars and he really and mick mars he is he he has that sound that you can't duplicate he's a 70s guitar player and he, he does what he he does what he does is great but then i heard your name from don because you played with doc and then the second time i heard your name was it popped up on my news feed. Uh, there was an article on Guitar World by Andrew Daly. What I read and the captions they were showing over here, um, you know, the first thing the guy had written, I wanted to put a great band together like Rainbow, Deep Purple, or Humble Pie. Nikki, Nikki Six was not capable. So I told Tommy, if this is the guy you want, I'm leaving before Mick Mars. Uh, Greg Leon was Motley Crue's original guitarist by Andrew Daly, published three days ago. That was the title, what I saw. That's the title. The only, the, title thing was, yeah. the only thing that was right with that was that was what I was trying to put together. You know, and Tommy and I were, because I I got back from Europe, I was and I left Dawkins. I was putting my own thing together again with Tommy, because we had the end of Sweet 19 was, was, was with Tommy in it. And uh, we were out looking for a bass player. At, we went to the Starwood, the Whiskey, Gazaris, whatever. We're looking for a bass player. In London, it was their final show, and uh, we're at the Starwood, and uh, Tommy sees Nicky and goes, that's the guy we need. I go, no, nah, no, nah, it's not going to be, no, nah, because it's just quarter and eighth notes. I, we don't need that. We need a guy that we can bounce off of and a guy that grooves with you and a guy that can do the kind of music that I want to do. I want to progress with the music. And uh, he just loved him, and I said, you know, if you love him that much, God bless you, man. Just go with that then. I'm not going to hold you back and tell you what to do, what you can or can't do. If you do it, I mean, if you want to do it, do it. Yeah, you know? and no disrespect to Nikki Six. No. Nikki, no dis- just to be clear, if Nikki Six is seen like this. Nikki. Yeah, no disrespect. I've known him for, God, 10 years before that probably. Yeah. He was, I've known him. At, he's a nice guy, you know, it, it, except for the pentagram stuff. <laughs> <laughs> except for the pentagram. And we'll, and we'll talk about that. I'm sure Nikki would have a sense of humor too. So, so, this, so. this guy, Andrew Daly, so he took part of your caption, part of the headline, but then he added uh, before Mick Mars, Greg Leon was Motley Crue's original guitarist by Andrew Daly. And he first thing, yeah. yeah, first thing I told him, I was never in Motley Crue. And he writes that. I'm like, what in the hell? And then I'm driving to work that Tuesday. I mean, I'm driving to uh, to uh, Santa Monica to, to go to True Tone to pick up amps and deliver them. And I'm listening to Eddie Trunk on the radio and my name comes up and they're talking about that thing for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, what in the, I didn't know. I thought because, since I told them that I was never in the band, I didn't think they were going to use the interview because that was what he wanted was to, you know, to, to expand, expand on that. And I said, first of all, I got to tell you, I was never in that band. I don't know how this got started. Everywhere I look, it says I was the original guitar player. I never was. So, so the, yeah, to set the record straight. Now, let me ask record. you, let me ask, how did they lure you, how did they reach out to you for the interview? How did that all start? You know, it, I believe it was right the day after or the day that uh, Jeff Beck died. I get this phone call, and from then they want to talk to me about Jeff Beck. I said, great, that'd be awesome. I met him once. He was a super nice guy. I saw him play a few times. Um, and I figured, okay, well, we'll talk about that. And then he finally calls me, and then it's all about this Motley Crue thing. And that's why right I go, dude, I never was in Motley Crue. 
So I don't even go there because I was I, Tommy and I had a band. He came in at the end of Sweet 19. We played together for about a year. And uh, then I got the offer from uh, Kevin Dubrow to uh, take Randy's place in Quiet Riot, we, which we changed the name to Dubrow. To Dubrow. Okay, that's, yeah. the, that's the timeline right there. Yeah. So Sweet 19, yeah. then it went to Kevin Dubrow. Yeah, right. So then right after that, to yeah. uh, Dawkins. That was Mr. Greg Liam, but don't worry, kids. We'll be releasing more clips and more stories of Dawkins, Quiet Riot, Motley Crue with Greg. You can get greg's album greg leon invasion tell the children links are down below and if you want to see this episode unedited become a member today on artist on record on youtube or join us in patreon in the meantime remember it's only rock and roll and we like it and don't forget to put your comments down below subscribe give us a thumbs up and as always who loves you baby we do we'll catch you all later thanks for watching